Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here again with another really fun video for you guys today brought to you by Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. If you don't know what Makers Gonna Learn is, we are an awesome digital die cutting community with over 3,000 members. We have over 1,300 cut files, 200 fonts, awesome printable guides like this, and an exclusive members only Facebook group and so, so much more. To join in on the fun, click the very first link in the description below. But guys, today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a super easy mug with Cricut in Design Space. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through the process, not just in Design Space, but in Design Space as well. And we're gonna cut it out, we're gonna prep our mug, we're gonna uh, show uh, a couple different ways you can use transfer tape uh, on this mug. We're gonna choose one or the other here. We have Cricut brands and then we have um, some awesome uh, masking paper transfer tape that we really really like which is going to be an awesome a tutorial to show you guys how to use on this mug here then we also have some mod podge because a lot of people want to know how can i seal my mug after i have uh, put some vinyl on it and of course no vinyl is permanent unfortunately even the ones that say permanent will not last forever especially if it's um you know out in the elements or if it's going in the dishwasher or things like that so we picked up dishwasher safe mod podge and i'll show you guys how to seal around your vinyl and then it's going to uh, dry clear and look effortless and beautiful and it's going to stay there for years to come so if you guys are excited let's jump into it okay guys this is a really funny cut file from makers gonna learn this is one of our awesome food cut files that we absolutely love from one of the newer collections this year. And the only problem with it is that I love the way this mug is, but mugs are often, of course, slender like this in their cylinder shape. And I really want to have food coma survivor be three words going down. So we're gonna do a little manipulation here in Design Space. What we're gonna do to make that happen is we're gonna duplicate this two times so that we have the amount of duplicates as there are words in the phrase. So food coma survivor, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with one of them, go to hide contour, and then we're just gonna hide contour on everything except one word. And we're gonna repeat this um, process with all of our words, um, and we're gonna be taking out every other word um, per contour session. So this one we took out food, this one we're gonna, or excuse me, this one we left food, we took out coma survivor. In this one we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna take out food and survivor, and we're gonna leave coma. And you guys see where I'm going with this? It's an awesome little uh, hack if you uh, wanted to do this, and I realized I just took out the word I wanted to keep. Uh, so now you're just gonna go through here and do exactly what I said. Just, um, and you can zoom in guys, if this is a little too difficult, you can zoom in. I don't know why I'm trying to make it so much harder on myself. Uh, so now we've got food coma, and now we're gonna take out food and coma and leave survivor, which is gonna be perfect. It's exactly what we are wanting. And this is a super easy way to get where you want to go here in Design Space. I say it all the time, guys, but it's really important to know these things in Design Space so that you will have the know-how to manipulate all of these cut files as you want to. And that is an awesome thing about Makers Gonna Learn is we don't just give you the cut files, but we give you guys all the knowledge, all the teachings, all the trainings to be able to be successful with the cut files we give you and to make them your own, whether it be manipulating them in Design Space or adding in one of our fun fonts that we have over 200 of. But anyways, guys, once you have it like this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this where we want it. And we think that's in the middle, you know. But one way we can sure tell is by selecting them both, going to um, Edit, Align, and Align Center. If you could see, it went over just a hair, and that's how we know that it's aligned in the center now. And now I want to do the same thing with food, but I can't just do that because it will not do it correctly. So what we're going to do is take food out. We're going to go Coma Survivor, Actions, and we're going to attach those two. And now when we add food and we make it, uh, we select it all and we go to align and align center, it will have them as two layers and shift them together instead of having them as three and get kind of confused if you understand what I'm talking about. So now that you have this exactly how you want it, which it is, we're going to take all this and we're going to go to attach and I attach the whole thing. And now the most important part is to measure our mug. So we have our measuring tape here and we're gonna measure how big we want it. And I'm thinking two and a half. 
I think two and a half wide will be a good size for the mug that we have today. And of course, as tall as we can go is I would say, I would wanna keep it about two and a half as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can't keep this right around two and a half. So we're gonna go to edit 2.5 and it makes it 2.1, okay, our height of 2.1, which is totally fine. So we have a width of 2.5 and a height of 2.1, which is totally fine by me. Now that we have that all good to go, we're just gonna go ahead and click make it and replace what's on the mat. And while that's thinking about it, I'm gonna grab our mat here and we have the cutest little piece of scrap gold vinyl. I thought gold would be so cute on this very trendy pink mug that we have that we bought from Walmart by the way um, a lot of people wonder where we get all of our stuff and videos that is from Walmart um, and I'm just gonna scoot this over just a hair because you can see we kind of cut our vinyl when we were cutting the scrap a little bit off so I just scooted that over a little bit this is a vinyl project so we do not have to mirror anything thank goodness so we're just gonna go ahead and click continue and we're gonna select vinyl and we have a relatively new blade but I don't think that it's quite sharp enough to need less pressure. So we're just going to leave it on default pressure and I'm going to load in our mat and press our flashing cricket button. And now I just unloaded our mat and as you can see here, I'm going to get it real close for us. Uh, it cut beautifully, but what we're going to do before we weed it is grab our scraper tool and we're going to burnish guys. We're going to burnish our little hearts out, okay? We don't want any of this stuff to uh, come up with us while we weed. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to cut around this guy, okay? And believe it or not, we can still use this piece of vinyl as a scrap. Uh, so I'm going to take this and look, we still have an itty bitty scrap that we can use for a different project. So definitely keep your scraps. And now take your favorite weeding tool of choice and we're just going to start in a corner and be very careful as you weed this up. Whoa, -oh. see, I'm taking my U with me. No, no problem there, guys. Use your weeding tool. Keep it down. And there you have it in our little U, okay? Our little U got a little messed up. But that is okay, guys. We can salvage that. So, our U is supposed to be like this. We can just take this, okay, manipulate it right back how it's supposed to be. And see, guys, it's totally fine. So, now we're just going to get in here very carefully into the middle of all of our letters. We're going to get all these out here, and they might want to stick, so just be careful there. Just because this is a new blade does not mean it's perfect, and we did cut this uh, relatively small, too. So just be careful. I love this, though, Food Coma Survivor. We have some really witty cut files over there in all of our collections there, but this food collection is just so cute to me. I love it. And we have all of our transfer tape here, but this is Cricut Brand Transfer Tape, and for what we're using today, which is a little mug here, it actually will go very, very well if we use a little bit of this masking paper transfer tape, especially because you do not have to reuse it. Um, and it's a lot more economical than using anything else. So I literally just ripped off a piece here, and we're just gonna lay it on, lay it on just like we would, get our burnishing tool and burnish. And now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go with gravity again. We're going to flip the whole thing over and peel it up just like so. And now, guys, before we do anything else, we're going to prep our mug here. So what we're going to do is we're going to first know how we hold our mug. So I'm right-handed, so I hold my coffee cup just like this. So, and I sip it like this, so I know that facing out towards people will be this way. So that is the way that we're going to put our vinyl on our mug here. So just make sure you know what hand, you know, if you're a righty or a lefty and how you drink your coffee. And then it's also a great hack to have a little paint bottle. What crafter does not have one of these paint bottles, guys? And just slip it right under the handle there. It'll keep it perfectly straight for us, which is exactly what we want. And now, guys, you know the secret weapon. 
get your alcohol. You want to have some rubbing alcohol. It doesn't matter what percent. We got this little push bottle at um, the Dollar Tree, but I'll try and find one on Amazon or something like that to link in the comments or excuse me, in the description below for you guys. But just get a little bit of alcohol and wipe your mug down where you're going to apply your vinyl to. This will take off any residue that you have on the mug, any oil from your fingertips, any dust, any debris, anything like that um, can be on your mug and we don't want that. We want this vinyl to stick perfectly on our mug. So now we have this here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to lay it down. So I'm going to widen the camera so you guys can see me over here in the corner. I'm going to lay it down um, and I'm going to take my burnishing tool and I'm going to burnish this way now, okay? We burnish every single way when we do this, guys. We just want some success with our project. Now we're going to take this and we're going to remove our backing. If you see a letter sticking like right there, it's okay. Just kind of work with it a little more and it'll stay down for you. And there you go. Okay, so this ended up looking great, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to position this in the center of our mug. I'm going to get us back close in, okay, guys? So you're going to position this where you want to. But before you do that, the best hack I have, which is why I also love using this masking paper transfer tape, is that you can take your scissors and cut around it, okay? This is great for using uh, not perfectly round, um, or excuse me, for not using perfectly straight, um, projects just like a mug we can use this for and the masking paper transfer tape is so economical that we can cut it like this and it'd be totally fine. So once it's cut it will just mold to the uh, surface of the mug so much better and once you have it where you want it okay and you're gonna see my head in here I'm sorry you're just gonna lay it down very carefully and start in the middle here start in the middle and then work your way out okay pushing the letters out just like so just push those letters out. And then guys, a little tedious part, okay, but it's totally okay. All of those little cuts you made in your masking uh, paper transfer tape will wanna come off separately. So if I'm, I'm gonna rip this one down and see, it's all gonna wanna come off separately, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna take this up, okay, rip this guy down, and it's kind of fun too. So just remove these after you've burnished, and here you have a super cute mug. Don't you love this? It says food coma survivor and goodness knows that I'm a food coma survivor. But that is not it guys, okay? We're gonna take this project up a notch more and we are going to use our dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I will link this in the description below as well. I'll try and link all the products that I can in the description below, things that I talk about, videos I talk about during uh, these videos, I'll try and have those linked as well. But you're gonna need that and just a little clean paintbrush here. And now this Mod Podge, it's non-toxic, but it's not exactly food safe either. So you might not wanna use this up on the rim, you know, where your uh, mouth is gonna be, where you're gonna be drinking coffee from. And a lot of people say, well, Rachel, should I cover the whole mug? Should I cover just my design? To be quite honest with you guys, in my personal opinion, I would just cover the design because this is a uh, gloss finish and this is the gloss finish our mug. And once it dries, you will not be able to tell. It'll be very subtle. They would have to be super close to the mug to even tell that it was, um, uh, has anything on it to seal it, you know? So I would just do the um, actual words and be done with it, guys. That is all you need to do. So you're just gonna open this guy up. If you've never used Mod Podge before, it's a great product. And this food safe one is really, really, or excuse me, not food safe. This dishwasher safe one is a really fun one to use. But you're just gonna get a little on your paintbrush here and just kind of smooth it out. You're gonna see that it looks kind of white. You guys do not need to worry about that. It dries clear, okay? And you will want to do a couple of coats of this, okay? Don't, um, don't be uh, very stingy with it, you know? Give it a couple of good coats. Let it dry about an hour or two in between your coats that you do here. And then once, uh, once it's dry, guys, you're gonna need to put it somewhere super safe. For a while and let it cure for a long time. I hate telling everybody the cure time for this because it it kills me to say it but the cure time for this dishwasher safe Mod Podge is 28 days. But guys the way I think about it to have a really good dishwasher safe mug that you created at home that you don't have to worry about that you can sell to a customer with you know and have confidence uh, knowing that it's it's gonna stay and you're gonna get a good review for that product. I, I think that 28 days is definitely worth the wait. 
So go ahead, put several coats of uh, this Mod Podge on here. Let it dry for one to two hours, another coat, another coat. I would do three just to be safe. And then set it somewhere and let that cure for 28 days. How fun was this easy mug tutorial with Cricut, guys? I hope that you all enjoyed it. A lot of people uh, see on the internet a lot of more complicated uh, projects and tutorials when using mugs. And I really wanted to break it down. I didn't want to give you guys something so simple. It's just slapping vinyl on it. I really wanted to show you guys how to seal them and make them useful. I feel like a lot of times uh, people want to show you guys a project and give you what you want and really nothing more than that. And we here at Makers and Learn always want to go above and beyond to give you guys what you want and a little more. Of course anyone could put vinyl on their mug here, but what about that? What if you actually use it because it is a mug? What if you have coffee and it, it gets hot, the vinyl starts peeling off? Like what, what happens? Well, we wanted to make sure that you guys were equipped with the knowledge to know that you can get dishwasher safe Mod Podge and apply it onto your cups and it makes an awesome sealer. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will link these products down below. This is Expressions Vinyl Masking Paper Transfer Tape. It comes in huge rolls. This one is a six foot, or excuse me, huh? I can't even read, six inch by 100 foot roll. And we've been using this for so long and this is so economical, guys, okay? So I'll link this down below. It's from Expressions Vinyl. Um, I think it's anti-taze, too. Um, but anyways, I will link that down below, guys. Go ahead and set this on a shelf. Try to forget about it for a month. Come back to it and enjoy that cup of coffee because um, everybody is a food coma survivor in my mind, okay? And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already a member of Makers Gonna Learn and you want to see uh, more awesomeness like this, please head on over to Makers Gonna Learn. It's the very first link in the description below and see how you can become a die cutting member of Makers Gonna Learn like a lot of our other amazing uh, members out there. We have over 3,000 members. And guys, as always, give this video a like and leave us a comment if you have any questions or concerns. I absolutely love going through it and reading those comments and replying to you guys. But guys, we're going to go ahead and head out, guys. You go make your mugs. I hope that you guys feel super confident in doing so now. And I hope you all have a wonderful crafty day. Bye, guys.